Hello friends, welcome back to my channel on statistics. If you are seeing my videos first time, then do subscribe. Let's move to the SPSS. Before that, also I give some examples and introduction videos regarding to the SPSS. I am using SPSS 25 version. Okay. Now we are doing some analysis from SPSS. Generally, we can use by some graphs and, uh, and regression analysis and descriptive statistics, then cross tabs, all things. Okay. For doing these things we are generating for some hypothetical data okay for generating hypothetical data excel is best compared to the spss we can easy to generate data from excel then we can copy to the spss okay we, for example we are assuming gender i am assuming to the family details only gender then caste family income then family Size, then family expenditure. Okay, I am assuming these five variables. Now I am giving for gender. I am giving random data equal to rand between. Rand between is the command for generating random number. Okay, one and two, one for male, two for female. Then in cast also I am giving generally four castes are available. I am giving that four castes rand between okay one comma four then we have family income what happened okay we need rand between one to four then fa in family income for family income as I'm assuming hypothetical data rand between for family income 20,000 is minimum 70,000 is maximum for family size also I am giving minimum is 2 and between minimum is 2 maximum is let's say 8 ok for family expenditure we already put 20,000 is the minimum income so Rand between expenditure is 10,000 to 50,000, let's say. Okay. Okay, now our values are now we can generate the same data to 500 variables. Okay. Let's say 500 variables to 501. Now what we do, we can copy same data to SPSS also by using control C and control V. Okay. Control C then go for SPSS then you need to get careful about your paste options here. Okay. When you are pasting anything here, what happened? Okay, so now see. For example, you are pasting here anything you, when you right click here, you can get paste with variable information also. Sorry, sorry. Now you can check here. Sorry, we are checking in variable. We need to check in data view. In data view, we can paste here. Paste with variable names. Our data will be paste here. Okay. See, so, you now you go to the variable view. We have gender, cast, family income, family size, and family expenditure. Here you can check with these two, then we can convert every decimal into zeros. Cast is also no zeros. Okay, then family income will be in decimal places available. Family size will be no decimal. Family expenditure decimals will be available. Labels. See now in values we need to give here for gender we give value 1 for male okay then value 2 for female male okay then for cast also we need to give values 1 for OBC I am giving 2 for Yes, see. 
थ्री फोर एस टी फोर फोर ओ सी मीन्स जनरल है एवरी वन ओके नाउ आवर एस पी एस एस डेटा हैज बीन क्रिएटेड हियर वेन वी गो फॉर वेरिएबल वी यू वी कैन सी दिस इज आवर हाइपोथेटिकल डेटा नो वी कैन डू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अनालिस फ्रॉम द डिस डेटा सेट फर्स्ट वी विल डू go to the first we will check by graphical representation then we move to the analyze section from the graphical we can remember gender and caste is the categorical these three are continuous data set continuous okay now when we are going to the graphs we can choose any of them from chart builder or like sig dialogs for example you need bar chart then go for bar chart if you need simple bar chart you can define simple bar chart in simple bar chart what we need For example, you can need for cash. There are four cash are available. You know, just enter. Okay. See, graph will cover come from output section. You see, this is our graphs for OBC. This much, SC this much, ST this much, OC this much. Okay. Now you can analyze from different different graphs also. We can use. Okay, you don't need by any analysis. Okay, let me see graph. For example, you need you need scatter plot or line plot, area plot, pie chart. You can use any one. When you use box plot, then you can find outliers. Okay, histogram. By using histogram, we can find a normal distribution curve. For example, we can use this for a family income. Family income for normal curve also. Okay. See, this is family income. Very generally, we are on. We can use different different also. Now we go for analyze. In analyze, what we can do from the descriptive statistics, we can find class types also. For class types, use for qualitative variables that are categorical. See, that's what happen in categorical. We are generating gender, then caste. From extract what we need, or some these all things are fine. Now move to the statistics. From the statistics unit, for example, you need case square statistics. You can you can check what we need. If you don't need, you can just put okay. Then you can get some more similar output. See from the class types in the general male how much, female how much, total how much. Then error you can get from percentage with percentages also. By using different, okay, okay. Descriptive statistics is fine. Then you can use PQ plus PQ by for normality assumptions. Now we can use. Now you move move to the regression. For performing linear regression, we all know that regression are two types: linear regression and non-linear regression. In linear regression also, different simple, multiple, okay. Let me perform li simple linear regression. For performing simple linear regression, I am assuming family income. Okay, family income is dependent. If family expenditure is independent, let's say. Okay. Sorry, we don't need to. We know. Our assumption is wrong. We do again. Okay. Analyze, then go to the regression. To the regression, then go to the linear. See, we first of all we can back this. Our uh, independent variable is suppose we are selecting gender based on the gender. Or we can say based on the cost, we can perform family income. Family income, okay. Let's see. See, this is the output. Variable entered. Model summary. Here we get R square is very low, so it is the significant data. Okay, 
here you can get also there is we select uh, cast but why we only degree freedom is one okay okay like this we can perform different different analysis based on the by using unlocks we can use non-parametric models also we can find correlation also for bivariate calculation we can for example we need to touch the correlation between gender and cast for we need pearson correlation okay pearson correlation see we can get them we get the negative correlation between gender and caste okay so there is less degree this is hypothetical data then we can perform different different we can perform or for practicing we can do any type of analysis after practice we when you work on the active data sets like time series income gdp then you need to you can get some sim actual results not from this is hypothetical data this will give you anything okay then you can do you can create dummy variables also for doing regression you can see here cast we have four variables say four, four types in that four types you can create by using transformation we can use dummy variables also 